All right. We're good. What's up, everybody out there watching us right now? We're live on ABL Hot Seat. I go by the one and only MC Wally Wild. This is another segment. It's another episode. It's a Friday. Ain't nothing else better than to be here with you guys. You know, I'm in the studio again with my sisters, the two hoes that keep me down. To my right, the one and only Chief Planner. My sister, what's going on? I'm good. How you doing? It's been a minute. It's been a minute for sure. Yeah. And then to my left, you know her, the one with the court. She you know they stop. <laughs> <laughs> the troublemaker herself, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Princess Paula. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Princess Paula of Basekebatakwe. You see, she started. Yeah. She started. I told you, she's full of trouble. Early, right? <laughs> she's full of drama, and I love her just like that. What's going on, Paula? I'm good. It's been forever. You bro. look nice. Good to see you. Ah, Yes, 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 yes. Up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. It's been a great year. Yes. It's been, you know, from the summer to the fall. Winter's around the corner. It's coming very soon. So how about we get together and we'll do something tonight? We'll call it Hot Seat. Last year, we, you know, we did something great, something wonderful. Thank God. And a big shout out to all the followers, everybody, all the viewers that are watching us right now. Hold up. Okay, okay. Let me bring the music down real fast, just for a second. I want, together, I want us to appreciate everybody that's been supporting this program because they gave us an award for this number one talk show, the best show in Maryland right now, in DMV. A big shout out to NEGA 2017. Thank you very much. Thank you. The award. But wait, who will keep the trophy? Me? Me, no. Uh, why are you? Let me collect them. Okay, let me smoke so, pass. Let me see find the award. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we love to have fun when we gather here today. See, we told you guys we got two special celebrities, two special guests, two of people that are making impact in this industry. Young, talented, educated. They've been doing great things, and it's only right that we bring them to the limelight to, you know, bring them to the studio for them to come and relax and lounge with us. Two special people. They're on the way, but one is in the studio right now, and it's only right that we introduce my brother. He just can't be here, and we just keep him in the boondock. You got to make sure that he get involved with the conversation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman that I want to introduce to you, he's actually the founder and the CEO of Agro Angel. Very talented young man. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only Mr. Deepo Adeshino. A round of applause. Welcome. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it, man. Thank What's you going on, Deep? Man, everything is good, man. Thank you so much for having me, man. You look sharp. Very sharp. I feel on that dress. Yeah, I'm in jeans jacket here. I thought, you know. I just came from a speaking engagement. So. Oh, really? Oh, from man. where? Uh, Baltimore. Oh, yeah, nice. from Baltimore. So I just figured I'd just come through where I am. So, yeah. So we yeah. accept anyway. you are. How have your week been, man? It's Definitely a Friday. Good, man. Busy, you know, Friday. Just um, been out the house this morning. Yeah. Um, and uh, just glad to be here, man. I've been looking forward to coming to you guys. So I watch you guys all the time on uh, mm. Facebook. Oh, thank you. So, thank you oh, so man. much. We really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh, got a lot going on for himself, man. I know this guy. We actually grew up together, and uh, I'm very inspired by him the positive things and the positive impact that he's making out here. It's, it's not easy for somebody to do that kind of transition with their life and I truly right. respect that. Right. This guy right here. Are you serious? Uh -huh. making, making Can you believe moves? it? Let me, let me, I want, I want, I want to kind of tap on some of his business ventures. Mm -hmm. Deepo is the CEO yes. of, I'm sure more than one company, but the one that is actually making an impact right now, Agro Angels. Yeah. Deepo, want to tell us a little bit about that? What does Agro Angel re represent? Yeah, no doubt. So Agro Angels, basically, uh, it's an agriculture investment platform that we've specially created for um, Africans in diaspora. Mm -hmm. um, just really giving them the opportunity to invest in the fastest growing sector back home in Africa, which is agriculture. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's mainly what we focused on. 
So when you say Africa, is that Nigeria or all African countries? That's a great question. Well, being that my, I'm tied to Nigeria, it only makes sense for me to start with where I have a good foundation. So right. we um, we decided to start off first in Nigeria, and then we're looking to make in, in inroads into Ghana, okay. which is our next project. Yeah. So where is your farm located right now? Uh, we it's in uh, uh Edo State. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yeah. So you live in America, but you're a farmer in Africa. That's good soil. In now. Nigeria. <laughs> no, I'm just, I just want to know how do you make it work? You're in America. How do you make? I'm sure people ask you this question. All yeah, the time. yeah. It's, it's Are you the one on the farm digging? Uh -huh. and oh, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> me, I want to know. Tell us about it. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's important for me to actually tell you guys how I started. And tell us yeah, about yeah. it. Tell yeah, us yeah, about it. To that. Yeah. So uh -huh. I think last year I was just on Facebook, as most of us, you know, constantly checking our news feed. Uh huh. And um, I saw an article. Okay. An article that said, um, and the the tagline said, "If Nigerians um, continue in this way, no, Nigerians will starve to death mm -hmm. by 2050." Mm. Uh, so when I saw that, it really caught my attention, right? So I clicked on clicked on the link and I started to read the article. And um, basically, what they were saying was, if the state of Nigeria continues the way it's going in agriculture, that by the year twenty fifty, Nigeria will not be able to feed herself. Got gotcha. you. Um, so that really caught my attention, and I immediately just kind of developed a passion for agriculture mm. because one thing as an entrepreneur. Um, if you're looking to create wealth or create something, you have to look for where there's a need. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we did. You know, mm -hmm. So once I saw that need, I, I remember my cousin, um, who was back in Nigeria, I haven't seen him for over 20 years. Yeah. But we connected on Facebook and he was telling me how he quit his job to, to become a farmer. Mm. Like wow. IT, you know, IT guy making serious money. Wow. You know, of course, being born in, uh, you know, living in America and really understanding, you know, for you guys, I'm sure if, when you think about farmers, mm. you're thinking about some old guy in the village. Uh. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now I'm thinking one man, we wear, we wear singlets. Like yeah. 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 So that's the, that's how, that's the way we grew up. Uh -huh. I had that mindset. So when he told me, hey, you know, I'm doing this farming, I was like, man, look, I'm not trying to hear about no farming, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so um, when I read that article, the yeah. only person that I could connect with that's already in that field was him. Somebody that's already doing it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I called him and I said, hey, you know, are you still doing, um, you know, are you still farming? Yeah. He said, yeah. So I'm like, what is it can I get involved with now? Because as an entrepreneur, the time for starting a business is always now. Hmm. You know, so he said, you know. Never he's, tomorrow. Start no, now. 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 Something now. Yeah. Right? Okay. You know? Okay. So um, let me ask you, what kind of, what's your specialty? Like, what are you guys doing currently? Is it just um, one particular crop or mm. do you have a variety? So right now we have about 65 acres of plantain, wow. plantain farm. Wow. Um, and in addition to that, we're looking to start a cassava in this coming January. But we're also involved in commodities. So with the commodities, we basically, um, we buy when it's uh, during the on season, which means yep. when it's abundance, mm -hmm. which is a, something that most people do. Okay. And then we keep in our storage house. So mm -hmm. when it's off season, we now resell back to our clients. Nice. Um, nice. So Agro Angels basically allows people to invest in these things. And then after a certain duration, it could be six months, nine months. And then we, you know, pay them. That's back. exactly what I want to tap on. If right. people want to invest, people want to, you know, they want to get involved in this business. Oh, yeah. There are other people that may have interest mm -hmm. in what you're doing, but not everybody can make those kind of moves to say, I want to buy land in oh, Nigeria. Yeah. Right. I want to start my own farm. Because first and foremost, there's a bunch of 419 there. Oh, oh, you no, want no. to send your money back home <laughs> back for home somebody? Yeah. To buy land and somebody to monitor it over. Yeah, it's serious. So I'm sure you have different type of platform or different kind of packages. If people want to invest in your business, want to t talk to us about it a little bit. Well, so from an investment standpoint, uh -huh. the minimum to invest is a thousand dollars. Um, and then I can own a farm with a thousand dollars. No, not really own a farm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me like that. That was okay. <laughs> so basically, what they're doing is so let's say we start a. The, the cassava uh, project we started in January. Okay. Hey, we have 50 acres of cassava project we're starting. Do okay. you want to invest? Okay. So once you invest, during the, you're investing for the duration cycle okay. of that particular crop. Okay. Once we harvest and then we sell to our clients, 
you get your capital plus the int the agreed upon interest, you know, for that particular project. Okay. Nice, nice. So my question to you, sorry, go oh, ahead. My question to you is, how do you handle um, the situation in Nigeria? I mean, you know how it is. There's um, issues with transportation, electricity, yeah. right. mm -hmm. and you did mention earlier that you store. Um, mm -hmm. your products how do you transport your products to your clients how do you manage all of that good great question so one of the things that we focus on is that uh, we try to focus on products or you know either commodities or crops that we know that are constantly in demand right right so for example the, we don't palm oil commodity that in itself even without you having to go anywhere people will come to you to buy mm -hmm. it's off season right. um we're doing a uh, uh, dried um dry plantain which is what pe companies process into um plantain flour mm -hmm. you know what i mean so these are things that people are constantly looking for so with that we either transport to our client which we have a bus that we use for that or those who are interested really um i guess urgently need that product yeah. they come to our location to pick it up nice 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 okay, so for your where you're based like you talked about Edo State what was it about Edo State that was like okay you know what this is where we want it to be was it just it was there or like you know why what you what decide? was it why didn't you just do it in Lagos why did why why Edo State I mean I know why. It's 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 we're great in Lagos. A place, it's it's in Lagos. I'm just saying it was a little shade it was a little <laughs> shade <laughs> But what was it about Edo State? What was it about Edo State? You know, you know why I'm asking why? Because I, I know, I know that, I know that your family they're from Kogi State. No doubt. No doubt. Uh huh. So I, why come you didn't invest in, in, in that? Yeah, hey, me I'm a Kogi boy. Okay, so relax, I'm a relax. But since we're going into that, you look kind of heater right now. <laughs> Because I, I want to make sure that the young generation coming yeah. from Kogi State can also yeah. have something to absolutely you know gain from it. Yeah, so uh, the reason for that is because my cousin is actually based in that dope. I was okay. going to say, yeah. Um, yeah, he, like I said, he was already farming out there. So basically, I came on board as, hey, you know what? Let's build this uh, this thing into a company. Okay. okay. But from a Kogi standpoint, I'm actually working with um, someone down. It's a per uh, we're looking to purchase roughly 100 acres uh, in the very near future. Mm -hmm. And then we have nice. top, you know, nice. people nice. in government positions who are looking to partner with us as well within uh, in Kogi State. That's so how amazing. do you manage being here and having such a huge product in Nigeria? How often a do you go back trust. home? Oh, I, That's I, a I, lot I, of trust. I try to do two, three times a year. I just came back like two weeks ago, actually. Nice. How was yeah. the trip? It was excellent, man. Was ah, excellent. You didn't see any downfall driver do you anyhow? <laughs> nah, the bro. <laughs> all. all right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still online with us right now, this is... ABL hot seat. We got Mr. Depot Adeshina in the house. You know the co-host in the house with me, MC Wally Wa. You got Chief Planner, you got Princess Paula. If you're online right now, do us a favor. We want you to help us share. Yes. Let the people online. Let them watch this. this a lot of they might pick one or, one or two things from this. We got a lot to tell you guys. We said Depot Adeshina is in the house, the CEO of Agro Angel. We also want to share light because he's also the president of YEN. That's Young Entrepreneur of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Chapter USA chapter actually. So, ladies and gentlemen, more question as we on the hot seat with Mr. Deepo. Mr. Deepo, my question for you right now is: yeah. I know that you are also an inspirational speaker. Yeah. That means you do a lot of seminars. You travel a lot, different schools, different university. You've been involved with Toastmasters. They even give you an award for yeah, Toastmaster. No, 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 no. Is it that there's a certain kind of vocabulary that somebody must speak for them to give them an award, oh. or is it that your English is too much, or what is it? <laughs> Um, as a public speaker, how did you even get started with that? Yeah, so that's an interesting question. Uh, it's a gift, mm. right? It's mm. one of those things when I ask myself, how did I start speaking? Mm. Um, and I have no idea. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, Wally, I mean, you know my background. A lot of people know me. I came from the streets. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, smoking, gang banging, all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. But at a point in time when God really just called me and then really start to bring out the stuff that I already had within me, yeah. it just started coming out like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so from the age of 19 specifically, that's when I started speaking and just doors have been opening up from that time on. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. nice, wow. nice, nice. Impressive. 
They said when you are called, you are called. You're you are chosen. chosen. You're you are chosen. chosen. Like um, it's a gift. People checking in right now. Madam Abby, we'll see you. Thank you very much. Thank if you, you have any you. questions for Mr. Depot, please feel free to call in. 202-681-0389. It's a Friday. We know people are... So just to, it's been a long week. Yeah. Just to get to know you a yeah. little bit better, maybe on a personal level. Yes. What do you like to do for fun? Man, so that's what I like to do for fun is considered boring to a lot of people. <laughs> general, I would rather stay home. Hallelujah. Read books. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. not read, but wow. stay home. Uh, uh, yeah. cool. On top of the knowledge so you already actually, have. Actually, out of all the books you've read, which one is your favorite? Uh, the Bible. Really awesome. Yeah, I, I read that every day. Okay. What's your favorite scripture? Like Mark eleven twenty three. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, shortly I say unto you, uh, whoever say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, mm -hmm. and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that everything he says will come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. Awesome. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. See, yeah. I think we... <laughs> we you, when he walked in, I said, Pastor Deepo. Nah, I'm a brother. <laughs> more, more on the personal level, we can uh -huh. see that you're married. Happy yeah, yeah. married. Thank you. Okay, um, tell us a little bit about that. How is marriage life? How long have you been married? Do you have any kids? What's yeah. going on? So December 10th will make six years. Um, oh, yeah. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. What you I doing? Have, um, I'm not sure yet. Oh, I mean, you don't, you don't want to blow it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It has to be a surprise. I like I'm sure the wife may be watching right now. I like romantic things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so I have two children, a boy, my son is four, and my daughter's two. Aww. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Also, I know that uh, either you're working on a book or you have a book out right now. Uh, no, I don't, have, I don't have a book yet, but some, you know, I have some ideas and things. I'm you have about something. To say. To, mm, yeah. Nice. Like, would it be about your life or would it be about? And nah, you know, you don't start. I mean, at this age, I'm only 31. Mm -hmm. um, you don't start writing books about your life. So you're like you're in your 60s because you have a collection of knowledge that people can learn from. And experience. Yeah, so I'm still yeah. young for people to. <laughs> so what book are you reading currently? Uh, Switch on Your Brain. Who's that by? Uh, that's by Dr. Cheryl Leaf, okay. I think. Yeah. Oh. Impressive. I'm, <laughs> I'm a novelist. I read anything James Neil Patterson. <laughs> now, let me, let me ask you a question. For the young up and comers that may be looking at you right now and say, "Oh man, this 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 man did a, he made a transition." I'm thinking about, about how I can turn my own life around, how I can you know walk in this kind of path, walk in the light. Well, what advice would you give somebody who's thinking about such that? Yeah, that's that's a great question. Uh, one of my mentors once told me that if you count the five people that you surround yourself with the most, mm. that would be the that would be they can basically predict your future, mm. right? Um, so my advice to anybody who's looking to make a U-turn or turn yeah. around from whatever direction they're going yeah. is to look at the five closest people that you talk to or you surround yourself with the most. Hmm. If those people are not moving you forward, yeah. if, they're not, if they don't have goals, ambitions to become something great, then the chances are you're not going to be anything in the future. So that's the first thing. Like You hmm. change your circle of influence. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Now... Go ahead. That's true. No, no, go ahead. That's How did you even get into business? What made you decide to say, I, I want to do business? I want to become an entrepreneur. Man, I've, I've been an entrepreneur by blood since I was like 12. <laughs> yeah, what was the first thing you sold? Man, it was some gums I stole from the store. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to steal this gum and I'm going to make a yeah. from it. Yeah. That's not, yeah you I know mean, why I asked you that question? Because yeah. now I want to know. How did you get involved with the, in the with the YEN? I want you to talk a little bit about YEN. What does YEN stand for? As the president of YEN USA, what does YEN stand for? What does it represent? And what are what are your goals with YEN? Yeah, so uh, YEN, which is YEN, what we call it YEN, is our Young Entrepreneurs of Nigeria. Okay. So basically, I'm the president of the U.S. chapter, and okay. it's really an organization that's focused on bringing all the Nigerian entrepreneurs in the United States together hmm. as one. And when you look at the Asian community, right, yeah. um, anywhere you go to, you, you see Chinatown. Mm -hmm. Like they, when they come here, they don't come here to to become employees. Mm. Right? right. They have the ultimate goal that to become. That is so honest. true. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You've never seen African town. No. That's true. That's true. So wow. when they come from overseas, they might they might work a job. They might go to school like everybody else. But it's not the end goal. 
It's they gotta start the something. Yeah. They gotta start something. Yeah. That is their goal. So yeah. our goal is really just to bring together this hub and start developing young Nigerians to say, hey, you know what? You can start a business, mm. right? You, but you, what do you think um, could be um, a struggle, you know, amongst Nigerians? Because I know that most Nigerians don't trust each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how do you guys hope to bridge <laughs> that gap, you know, so we can all come together and, you know, work together? Yeah, so when you, when you, uh, number one, we're look, when we start, when you start something, right? Yeah. The, the foundation is very key. Okay. When you have people who operate with integrity, mm -hmm. right? The leaders of any organization basically determines the future of that organization. So we have very strong leaders, and Wadi's actually, coach, um, you know, we're very privileged to have Wadi's one of our partner, partner leaders. Um, yes. So with that. Well, now here, see, I'm part of it. <laughs> <laughs> You by your government. Uh, yeah, 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 when he said Wally, he's talking about Wally. I'm like, why? Why? I don't know why. I was like, that's the one. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We just had to take a short break. Everybody listening online right now on ABL Radio, we appreciate you. It's still ABL High C, MC Wally Wild Princess Paula, Chief Planner herself, Mr. Deko Adeshina. Like we said, today is a double trouble. <laughs> MC Kofi will be in the studio with us in a few minutes. We're still talking with Mr. Deko Adeshina about why he and that's the young entrepreneur of Nigeria. Okay, so I have to ask you, um, YEN stands for Young Enter Entrepreneurs, Entrepreneurs of, Nigeria. of Nigeria. Is there yeah. an age limit for those who can join? Yeah, so we try. We, we, we decided to start off like 18, okay. um, 18 or 40. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we didn't want to do, I mean, honestly, if anyone wants to join mm -hmm. above 40, uh, 18 is the start, starting mark. Okay. Uh, but if anyone wants to join above 40, we're not going to stop you, you know, because that ultimately we're here to serve a Nigerian entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But our target mark is basically 18 and 40. So do you guys offer any mentorship program for the younger ones, like the 18-year-olds and stuff? Yeah, we definitely have a lot of great stuff coming down the pipeline. Official launch date is November 11th. 11, so there's yeah. still a lot of so legwork, a lot of things right being uh, being done behind the scene right. um, just to make sure that we're fully prepared for, for the launch of November 11th. Okay. Yeah. Now, my question for you. <clears throat> we know YN is planning something amazing, something big. Something big very soon. November 11th. 11. Yes, sir. Right What's going Maryland. on right here in Maryland? What's going on December, November 11th? So November 11th is our official kickoff
it's see, just seeing like you're bringing together um, great minds. Yes. You know what I mean, if you can think of like imagine people like Bill Gates, hmm. uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Mike Zuckerberg, uh, Zuck, Mike Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. Mm. all being in the same room. You know what I mean, and just working on things that is massive. Hmm. That's really our goal to bring together. Nigerians that are doing big things across the United States together and how can we work as one number one to empower ourselves um, and number two what can we do as a people to start giving back to Nigeria because that's ultimately our root so November the 11th mm -hmm. we're doing the luncheon anybody can come so if a thousand people show up now they're uh. No, you know what? Yeah. You don't want to show you. Have bounces at the <laughs> <laughs> so if you come there, you say, I know you. Deepo, I know you. Nah, <laughs> I'm putting on dark shades. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a limitation, meaning yeah. there's a capacity of 50. The first 50 people that want to know about business, you want to learn one or two things about entrepreneurs, please feel free to join us November 11th, YEN USA Luncheon. Now, Mr. D. You are the president of it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that like a little bit too much task for you alone to handle? Well, yeah. If you say one person, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's too much task to be the president of the United States. Oh, yeah. Well, is that the reason why Donald Trump can all function? I heard, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why he can't function is spiritual. It's not, no, it's let, not, let's talk about it. Let's talk it's about it. I want, I want us to even step, step, out, step out of this conversation oh. a little bit. The U.S. politics right now. What's going on? What's going? What's going on? What's your own? What's your own thoughts? Do what, what do you, how do you feel about Trump coming from what Obama have done? Where we coming from to where we at right now? Right. What's your own take on it? Yeah. So uh, number one, I'm not a politician. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> number two, really I think saying. you know I. It's it's very easy for for us to look at people on the outside and say this person not doing something right. Yeah, sure. um, but like you guys show, I'm on a hot seat. Anything can happen when you come on the seat. Yeah, right. And that's the same thing when you look at a president staff. Hmm. Everybody have different point of view on how they think they should be done. Yeah. Um, while the majority might not agree with what he's doing, mm -hmm. um, I want to believe. Yeah. You know, to some degree, he might think he knows what he's doing and he has some kind of purpose in mind. But at the end of the day, we won't really see until everything unfolds. Mm. Um, and, you know, that's really my take on it, you know, from a po political standpoint. I never try to look at somebody and say, hey, you know, he's not he's not doing his job right. Because mm. I, I, I've i never been the president. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? True. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my two cents on it. Man. <laughs> so you agree that Trump should go another four years? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, is it yes or no? Do you think Trump should go another four years? I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Like that. We find it in the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been it's, it's been a blessing. It's been a pleasure having uh, Deepo Adeshina in the studio with us. My brother wants you to know that ABL, Hot C, all the members, all the family of ABA, ABL, now that you came here, your family with us. Anytime you have anything you want to get out there to the public, we are here. For your Appreciate service, you, we're here to give your hands and support. We wish you all the blessing that you need for you to continue with your chapter and your movement. Yes. So, Mr. Deepo Adeshina, we Thank appreciate you, so you for coming today. Thank you, so today. Yeah. Thank you very much. people know how they can get in touch with you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you uh, if you want to reach out to me personally, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, What's your handle? On Depot, Depot underscore Adeshino, um, you can reach out to me through those. Um, and if you, if you want to get it from a, from a business standpoint, I'm also on social media as Agro Angels. So if you type it in, it's easy for you to find. We're the only one with it's none like us. Yeah, for Yen USA, Yen mm -hmm. underscore um, USA mm -hmm. on, uh, on Instagram. And same thing with Facebook. Yes. So if you type in Yen USA, you'll find us anywhere. Yeah. Okay. One last thing before Mr. Depot goes i want to play one game with him the first yes. quick response quick response the first word that come in your mouth if i say money you can say whatever if i say life you can say health whatever That's all right nice. so entrepreneur business business money life god <laughs> journey move family everything hustle got it grant grind <laughs> Ah, oh, let's see what you I didn't jump. I didn't jump. Give me a jump. But that's our grand. Thank you, thank you.
you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Appreciate it. We got MC Kofi coming up on the hot seat right now. If you're still with us online, this is ABL Hot Seat. Mr. DJ, turn on the music. It is Friday. Let the good people enjoy the music. So give us a quick five minute break and we'll continue with the program. Thank you. Share this on your page right now. All right, all right. Bring it down, Mr. DJ. All right, all right. Everybody checking in on Facebook right now. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. I see you, Mrs. Uh, Chris now. OBL. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What you doing this weekend? Feel free to call in and join the conversation. 202-681-0389. K-San, we appreciate you. Shadil Dukoya, we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned to you that this hot seat is a special. I think this is like the first time that we have two guests in one episode. Back to back. back, to mm-hmm. back. After they gave us the award last year, why we no go well, brag? <laughs> we had a wonderful time discussing them with the brother himself, the entrepreneur, Mr. Digo Adishina. One more time, a round of applause for him. Now, I told you I got my guy all the way from the guy. The guy went came from from Ghana to Philly to Boston. He's been all over the world, just doing shows, MCing. This is the guy that I know will enter the party after he after after MCing. You will see more people want to get married because of him. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not only is he book smart, not only is he very funny, not only is it is he, you know, an actor, but at the same time, this guy's doing wonderful things around. Please welcome to the studio, my brother, the legend himself, MC Kofi oh, Williams. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's happening? What's I'm happening? I'm good. Thank uh, you for joining us. Thank you guys uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity to be here. It's it's a pleasure. Uh-uh. I'm chilling with the baddest MC, <laughs> the most hypest MC of all times, Mr. MC Wale Wale. Let's give it up. For Let's give it up. For What's up, bro? Ladies, thank you. Uh, MC Kofi, yeah, it's a man. pleasure, man. We've discussed so many times where we need to bring you down to the studio. We need to every time you come in town, you come, you do wedding, collect our money, and you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now that we finally get a chance to hold this man, it's a very busy man. We know oh, man. he's in town again for another event. He's very busy, and I, I actually love the fact that the ministry keep moving, like he always say. Yes, the sir. ministry is moving. The how has how has how has the journey been as an MC, man? Uh, it's been interesting. Um, it's been very interesting because um, I, I never, emceeing was not something that I thought about doing. Hmm. Um, I've always wanted to go into construction. Okay. As I said, my background is in architecture and construction. Uh, but, you know, God has a way of doing things. Hmm. And I think, you know, when you talk about MC Kofi Williams, you're talking about a testimony. You're talking about God. Because 
I went to a French church. Okay. You know, the guy has been inviting me for years. Yeah. Coffee, I need you to come to my church. I said, ah, I'm busy, you know? Yeah. And um, during that time, I was doing more acting. Okay. More acting, no MC. Nice. And this guy invited me to his church. I made time out. I went. Yeah. And while I was there, the minister, the pastor, Prophet Richard Owusu, gets him in his ministries in Philly. First time there, he walks up to me. He was ministering to different people. Mm -hmm. And he comes up to me and he says, MC Kofi Williams, I just want you to tell, I just want you to know that God is telling you, He's given you an MC platform hmm. and you're gonna travel the world. Wow. And you're gonna do great things. And he even told me I would get into radio. Wow. This is four years ago. Nice, wow. nice. And never thought of you MC. Were not an MC. No, never thought of MC. Wow. Never on my radar. Nothing. Nice, nice, nice. So when you talk about, you know, in the presence of God, things happen. Mm -hmm. I'm a true testimony of that. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, impressive. And since you started, how many um, um, gigs have you done? Not gigs, but how many weddings, weddings oh, and man. events have you done? As I'm speaking to you now, not to brag, but uh, I, today, right this now, year alone, this year alone, I have at least, I've done at least 40 today. Wow. Check. And this guy and the year is not over yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this so it's like a back to back every weekend. Yeah. Oh yes, I I, I I travel all the time. How do you and how do you cope? How Traveling, do I cope? Yeah, with um, the family and. All I believe God. This is this is something that He is. It's my life. It's a, it's my life assignment. Okay. Nice. You know, most people don't know what their purpose is. Okay. I yeah. think for me, having that encounter at the church mm -hmm. opened my eyes to. A world that I never knew about. Mm. And once I embraced the fact that this is something that God wants me to do, yeah. I, I fully embraced it and I just ran with it. Yeah. Nice. And nice, when God nice. calls you for something, He, he opens the doors. Nice. I might nice. not have the largest, you know, IG followers yeah. on Facebook and things, but the doors have just been opened. The ministry is moving. So, right. Business is booming. Right. I mean, bro, this is <laughs> not. Business is boom. You know, I was in Nigeria this year. I know you were in Nigeria yeah. now. Lagos, Nigeria. Now, where did you go for? Yes, sir. How was the wedding? I went to Mexico. It was good. Hi. It was good. And you uh, ate, uh, wait, and you ate Nigerian jollof. I ate Nigerian, Nigerian jollof. And you know why you don't gather jollof for Nigerian jollof. Let us clear this thing now. Ladies and gentlemen. You agree that it's the best. Yes or no? Jollof? To the camera. Okay, yeah. jollof, right? Uh -huh. Based on the person who makes the jollof is what makes the jollof. Oh, 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 while I was in Nigeria, I was actually disappointed. Ah! What why? part of Nigeria why? did you why? go? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Because off. the you jollof I ate it. in Nigeria, no try. <laughs> the swallow, what try. Right. I, I was eating more of pounded yam, the egusi, and well, those kind of things. I was in Lagos. I no, was, I was in um, No, I mean, restaurant. I was in um, Mama Poots uh, now. No. Now Mama Poots are both go now. No, no, no. Go restaurant. You don't go enjoy it now. I was on the street side. I mean, ah, I okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, university. I university mean, all those so places. Yeah, uh -huh. uh -huh. see this know. guy. This guy don't move for like that. Don't give that up for ransom. No, I'm telling you, jollof is 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 a, is <laughs> the only way you can quantify good jollof is by who made it. That's it. Before I would say it's Ghana, but I don't think so because I'm eating some correct. So what you're saying is now you're talking. So when people, okay. so what you are saying, MC Kofi is yes. when people ask Ghana jollof or the Nigerian jollof, it's I'm not confused. It's <laughs> not confused. So it's all about who made it. It's, not, it's all about who made it. Confirm, 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 okay. confirm. Okay. confirm. So, Liberia and those guys forget we'll, that. No, they don't we'll even we'll that answer. Yeah. So MC Kofi, okay. So What's you up? said you started off as an actor, and yes. okay, so. Tell us a little bit about that. How was your... You're still acting. Yes, I am. Okay, so what is it about being an actor that, you know, that... What would you say? Who would you say Kofi the actor is? Wow. Um, so Kofi the actor was actually how I began to serve God because mm. that was the medium through which I could express myself. So acting has always been a big part of me. I've always been a part of church dramas. I've always been heads of departments for churches for the drama department for almost every church i've been to 
Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we've been doing this. I'm a big part of RCCG, okay. which is uh, oh, Redeemed Christian Church of God, okay. under Shout the out. Young Adults umbrella. Um, by God's grace, I was made the, um, not minister in charge, but young adult in charge of drama. So whenever we have our big conventions every year, which moves from state to state, uh, I'm responsible for what we're going to minister as far as the arts. Okay. And um, yeah, we did a play. Uh, about I'll say four or five years ago, it was an abusive play. Okay. And when we we're done with the play, people were crying. People, I mean, because people are going through stuff, and drama is what.